well, I'm sure this must have happened when you decided to stop drinking. You must have thought this isn't good. I'm not going to be funny anymore. I thought that. I okay. thought I thought there was going to be ramifications. Yeah. Okay. And so, what were they? What what do you, what did you what did you foresee happening? I thought I wouldn't be funny. I thought that people wouldn't like me. I thought that um, I wouldn't be able to meet girls if I wasn't drinking or you know or having drugs or. Um, Right, so that was what you were afraid of giving up if you stopped drinking. Right. What were you afraid of happening if you kept drinking? Um, I was afraid of not achieving my dreams. I was right. afraid of, you know, uh, ending up a drug addict. I yeah, was afraid so, of, hurt, okay. of dying in my sleep. Something, you know, dying under the influence. Okay, so there, so there, yeah, it's not like that doesn't happen to comedians. Right, it happens a lot. Yeah, it's one right. of our, dude, it's one of our, it's one of our go-to well, moves. Right. Well, right, exactly. <laughs> well, it's on an occupational hazard because you're up late at night and you're around <laughs> bars all the time. It is, it is. Cause it is. It, 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 because you're up late at night. And yeah, Chris Farley right here. Right, right. Exactly. Well, and it happened to all sorts of comedians and rock musicians. It usually happens at about 27. You know, weirdly enough. Mm. So okay, so you were afraid you were afraid you're gonna die or you're afraid you're gonna become addicted. So so let's say what what of life what would have life like been like you for, for you if you were addicted? So you don't have a career anymore. No. Right. So you've given all that up and failed. Mm. So that's fun. So that's gonna drive you even more <laughs> yeah. towards drugs. Yeah, it would have been all my dreams. It would have been miserable. Right. It would right. have been so, hell. Exactly. Is that so why quit drinking? So I don't end up in hell. Mm -hmm. Hey, there's a reason There's a reason to stop. And then if you make that hell real, it's mm -hmm. like, here's all the details of my personal hell. Yes, let's avoid that. Right. So then you have something to run the hell away from. Right, so now you to have something towards. towards and something to run away from. Mm -hmm. And I'll say this too, as you, for if there's any young men or women out there who are listening to Jordan feeling like, well, I still, I don't know if, you know, if I start doing something, my friends are going to act a certain... Yeah, they are. They are. Yeah, yeah, that's right. But you're right. also, you're going to start creating conversations. You're going to become the intrigue because mm -hmm. you're going to be bringing something new to the table. And you're also going to, your friends are. Yeah. Because if you're starting to put your life together and you have friends that object, those are not friends.